this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up Trivia by the Pound Christmas Trivia Game. I hope there's veal inside. Scott vs. Box! This is Trivia by the Pound Christmas Trivia Game. <gasps> trivia. <gasps> Christmas. So long, Jewish people. I guess you don't get to play. That's sad. Oh boy, for ages 12 and up. That's me. Up. Oh, let's see what else we got on here. Compact trivia that tips the scales. Whoa, scale tippery. Small enough to fit in a backpack. Trivia by the pound games go any anywhere you go. Oh, well, that's so convenient. There's nothing new but a ton of great new trivia inside this box. Includes 1,200 questions. Pencils and score pads. Two or more players. This is great. Christmas. Tis the season. What better time to engage in a game of Christmas trivia than when the family's gathered for the holidays? Uh, clearly not Hanukkah. Not Hanukkah. Just putting that out there. USA. That's where it's made. By Rumba Games. Well, let's get at it and learn some stuff about Christmas, huh, everybody? Let's learn. Oh, boy. It's the Christmas season. And I say that because... We're opening the thing about Christmas trivia, and it's the Christmas season. Or is it just that way because I'm opening a game about Christmas trivia? You be the judge. Who knows when you're watching this? Probably around Christmas time. Because you want to learn. <gasps> Here are the rules. The object of the game is to blah, blah, blah. Well, now we know. No, no. We're going to make up our own rules, everybody. We're going to take all the cards, and we're going to look at them. Okay. Oh, well, here are those score pads they're talking about. Can't use these on any other game. It's clearly for trivia by the pound. So you got your category, you got the this thing, and you got your totals. Oh, it's like going putt-putt golf. See, you got all those games. Think how many games you can play. And look, pre-sharpened pencils. Thanks, Rumba Games. You know I don't own a pencil sharpener. All right, so let's move that junk out of the way. Here's all the trivia. I hold all the answers about Christmas. I hold them all. Now to open them up, I'll quiz you at home. See if you're able to get this right. We can play with two players. You'll be my other player. Oh, I bet you're excited. Let's keep score, okay? I'll keep score for me and keep score for you, considering I don't trust you. So let's fill out a card. All right. The first question is... Christmas carols. What does the girl child want from Santa and Chuck Berry's Run Rudolph Run? Now the answer is a little baby doll that can cry, sleep, drink, and wet. So the, an the question to you is, should anyone care? Your answer? No, that's correct. All right, you got three thousand points way to go category one that was christmas carols so you got three thousand points good job so far now number two stocking stuffers what was broadcast for the first time from new york metropolitan opera on december 25th 1931 the answer is an entire opera hansel and gretel now the question to you is what's the only good thing that came out of germany your answer that's right! Snossages! Way to go! Oh, stocking stuffers! That one was worth 8,000 points! Oh, snossages are so good! They don't need to just be for dogs. Now let's go to another card for holiday traditions. Holiday traditions. Christmas seals are sponsored by what nonprofit organization? Answer the Lung Association. The real question. Seal, the singer, should he ever be on TV in high definition? Your answer? That's right. No, because he's hideously grotesque and have scars all over his face. Wow, that was right. That one was holiday traditions, and that one was worth 800,000 points. Wow, you are doing great. That's a pretty good score so far. All right, now on to another card. Ooh, this next category is going to be great. Christmas movies. What 
was nominated for an Outstanding Children's Program Emmy in 1992. Answer, Winnie the Pooh and Christmas 2. Now the real question is, have you ever seen this? Your answer? No, because Winnie the Pooh isn't funny. Wow, you are doing great. Christmas movies, that one was worth four points. Good job. Okay, and now on to the final question. This is it. This is the whole game right here. North Pole. What country had at one time a female Santa called Babushka? Answer, Russia. Question, what is the name of my Russian bride? Your answer? Oh, I'm sorry. You said Sonia. The real answer is she doesn't deserve a name because she's a Russian woman. Zero points on that one. But your total, if I add everything up here, 3,000, 8,000, 800,000, four points is a grand total of 17, which means you don't win because 17 isn't legal, everybody. Just a little thing about Christmas. 17 isn't legal. Trivia by the Pound Christmas trivia game. So much fun. Be sure to check out other hilarious Scott vs. Box videos below. And subscribe to my channel right up here. And be sure to send me anything that you want for me to unbox on the show. Send it to this address right here. And I'll give you a free plug on the show. For free. Free. Unbox. Free. Free unbox Scott vs. Box. Free. 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 Unbox. Box. 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 Ah! I'm trapped.